Sup guys, Liam Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Was Pyra and Mithra's Driver. This is part 11, and the last part, Izuku was training with Jin and, and, Mithra, and Pyra and Mithra for the sports festival as, as Shoto declares war on Izuku. As Izuku also does the same and promises that he will not hold back no matter what. As and even gives out his speech and saying that he won't be behind anyone else. With that said, let's get into this. As they all prepare for the obstacle horse race, Izuku decides to tap decides to pair up with Jin instead. As Mithra and Pyra stay behind as, Myth as Izuku saying, sorry Mithra, I know that you probably want to help out in this as well. As she's saying, oh no, I got this. Enjoy, enjoy getting through this as fast as you can. So don't, don't let me down by losing. Got it? As Izuku saying, yeah, I promise Mithra, I won't let you down. As Jin saying, I'll keep an eye on him. So, you don't have to worry about him. Is I'm more worried that you're going to hold him back though. As as, he's, as Jin gets a little bit annoyed and Pyra gets pissed off. As Izuku saying, now isn't the time for that. You need to get ready. As Jin saying, of course. Let's go, Izuku. As, they get, as Jin leaves and Izuku leaves. As he says... D don't worry, Pyra. I promise. I won't let you down. As she soon waves, saying, I know you won't. My idiot. As, they, as soon after, Midnight tells them all to go. As everyone begins running out of the stadium, soon after, President Mike and Aizawa soon gives out their commentary. As... President Mike says, well, Aizawa, this looks like the obstacle course is on its way. What do you expect everyone has to prepare for now? As soon after Aizawa was saying, the door is soon af after that. The entire entrance of the of the arena began to clo began freezing as, he's, as Shoto froze almost everyone in place. However, as he exits... Both Izuku and Jin are already out as saying, what? But how? I thought as they both as that both of them are linked and Jin and Izuku and Jin are using Jin's ab blade ability being Ether Swift, where he moves faster than the naked eye can see. And not only and not only that, Jin is an ice blade. So his so also on ice ability, ice ability such as Shoto's, Shoto's right side won't actually hurt Izuku at all. As, he, as Shoto gets pissed and saying, I won't lose to him. I won't. As he runs as fast as he can using his ice to repel him forward. Soon after, everyone else in Class 1A began catching up as well. With Bakugo steadily getting further and further. And saying, as the first, as the first or second obstacle, depending on what, what you guys think, with being all the robots during the entrance exam, especially the zero pointer, as Izuku saying, "Oh man, I remember this thing. It took Mithra using her Arphasis Siren to take it down, using Sacred Arrow to take it down." As Jin saying. <laughs> If that's the case, then it shouldn't be hard for me to take it down either. As Jin, as Izuku feels the flow of ether from Jin, and begins feeling. Remember what we said. Remember what I said, Izuku. Get everything you got. As he's saying, "Yeah, I got it." As they both, as the zero pointer was about to hit Izuku, the both of them were able to dodge it instantly without even trying as they both run up to the zero pointer and Izuku gets to the head and was able to cut 
cut it in half with not not even trying as soon after the zero pointer's head began the top of the zero pointer's head began cutting off soon as for the other as for the other zero pointer Shoto was able to free was able to freeze it entirely causing its systems to shut down and begin falling down as both as Izuku notices this, he begins thinking, I oh, know, I, I can't make it there in time. As Jin s- sees Izuku frantic and, be- and creates giant ice shards to destroy the rope, to destroy the rope, the zero pointer robots. Whatever debris would have fell on anybody began, f- began being small stratinal. As he's, as Jin saying, you don't have to worry about the innocents. I'll help you out as much as I can. Remember that, Izuku. As he's saying, thanks, Jin. Soon after, they were able to move fast to catch up for lost time, passing Shoto once more, with Bakugo getting pissed that he's not able to catch up with Izuku. As he wonders, damn it, See, he's even getting stronger and stronger. And that other sentient quirk. What the hell is going on with him? It's seriously pissing me off. As soon as they make it to an, the other obstacle course, where the tight, where they would have the tight ropes, as easy, as Jin saying, huh, "I got this myself." As he grabs his sword and puts it on his back, and as Izuki saying, "Jin, what are you?" And grabs Izuku and say, grabs Izuku and puts him on his back and saying, Wait, what are you? And mo- as he moves even faster than he normally would, as Izuku feels the feels the wind completely at his su- completely on his face and com- and feels confused and surprised that they already made it to the edge, not even trying. As not even present Mike and Aizawa see this saying, What? What was that? As they as Aizawa saying, That must the power of Izuku's new quirk. He has the ability to create sentient sentient quirks that are able to take human shape and human form. We have un as the quirk he calls his quirk blade. It's most likely due to the to due to his sentient quirks having sword sword like sword like weapons that he uses and that he uses to increase his strength and speed. But this this one is on a whole different level. It's most likely this blade focuses more on speed than power. As he, as if you saying, I didn't know you were able to move that fast. Huh. Normally. Normally, I should be able to move this, move faster. I'm guessing it's because our bond isn't strong enough yet. We got, I guess we have work to do. As Izuki saying, yeah, just like Pyra and Mithra, I won't let you down, Jin. So let's get going. As he grabs his sword back on it, grabs Jin's sword and the flip and the link begins going up. As Jin saying, hm, he really is something. Even with all that it's against him. He even he doesn't take my power for granted. Instead, he mostly wants to live up to the power that I give him that i that I share with him. I to be honest, once again I am glad to be his his blade, and I am glad that he is my driver. As the link begins going up and Izuku and Jin began using Ether Shift once more to move faster. While seeing this, Mithra and Pyra, while in Mithra's form, began seeing this and thinks they really are working together pretty well. Huh, I remember when Izuki was struggling, as Pyra's saying he still is struggling, and I, even though, and and it shows that Jin his is still being held back by Izuku's will. I mean, I can tell that Jin, tr- Jin trusts him with his life, but 
not entirely yet. As Mithra saying, they just met just about a week ago. You expect him to, you expect Jin to completely trust Izuku right off the bat? As he, as Pirate saying, yeah, I know. It took us a while to find, to fully warm up to him. As, especially you. As Mithra saying, I know. And I regret it. I, he, he's still an idiot. A nerdy, dorky, stupid hero quirk nerd. But he's our stupid, nerdy hero quirk nerd. And I want... And I want to be there for him even more than I ever could. As and not being him, not being there for him while he's in this event, it frustrates me. As Pyra saying, I know how you feel. I know how you feel all too well, Mithra, since we are the same after all. As soon after as after that, Izuku and Jin begin glossing through the minefield as they haven't even set off a single one. That's just how fast they're moving. As Izuku saying, this is insane. I mean, to be, to be expected to move this fast, this is quite amazing. As Jin saying, that's nothing. Just wait until you see how fast I can truly go. As Izuki saying, wait, you could go even faster? Wait, do you have your memories? As Jin saying, no, I still don't have my memories, but I do know how fast I can. I know, I know I can go past my limitations. As Izuki saying, well then, I guess we still got much to go. And I, w I still want, I still want to get stronger. Not just for you, Jin, but even for Pyra and Mithra. I want to live up to both you guys' expectations, no matter what. As Jin saying, you really do care a lot about those two, don't you? As Izuku stops before fully making into the entrance, as he realizes they still have a little time left. Of course I do. They were there for me so much. When I was alone, when I had no one that believed in me, they did. Pyra emotionally supporting me and always giving me encouragement. Mithra pushing me to go even further and keep on trying. The two of them has always been by my side. I actually can't imagine a world without them now, if I'm going to be honest. As Jin saying, <laughs> It's almost like you love them, probably even more than just a friend. As soon after, Jin, they begin hearing ton, hearing ice and tons of explosions coming. As Jin, as Izuku began being flustered, saying, "Love? I mean, I don't. I mean, I do care about them, but I may love them as." And Jin saying, "Oh, I don't mean as a friend." I mean love love them, isn't that right? As Izuku began getting embarrassed and completely shy as hell and his face turning red to complete red as he just says ah, and just runs off as Jin saying, there it is, <laughs> as he laughs and just and walks behind and just walks behind them as Soon after, they all cheer for Izuku as they see that he's the first one in. As he realized, wait, I walked. I'm the first one. I did it. As soon after, Jin walks behind them. As they were about to say, was about to say his name, but realized that he's Izuku's blade. As soon after, Pyra soon comes out. And say, well done, Izuku. That was amazing. And you too, Jin. You've done you've done ama amazingly well. As Jin saying, well, Izuku, we did train a lot, and Izuku has mastered quite a bit of my speed. Still needs a little work though. As 
Hizuku, as soon after, as Izuku is hu- being hugged by Pyra, he soon remembers what Jin says. As he begins feeling shy and pulls out, as he's saying, "Up, oh, sorry, Pyra. I just need some time to rest a little bit. I'm sorry." As she's saying, "Okay, if that's what you need, you prop you were pushing yourself pretty far." As his cheeks are still red quite a bit. And as he thinks to himself, do I have feelings for them? It, or is Jin just messing with me? Jin, but Jin's not the kind of per- Even if we've been spending time for only a week, I can already tell Jin's not the kind of person to just joke around. That's not him at all. As soon after, everyone else began arriving with... Just like in canon, being Shoto getting getting second, Bakuyo getting third, Ida getting fourth, and so on and so forth after all. As soon after Bakugo sees Izuku already there and with all his court if his and already all his blades too, as saying, Damn you, Deku! How I didn't even get anywhere near you at all! How? Damn it! As soon as as Shoto soon sees, damn it, not even close. I was nowhere near them at all. And yet I was pushing myself as he begins thinking, but was I really pushing myself? As he begins doubting himself that maybe he should have used his left side to get but then, de- but he but anchors himself down and tells him, no, I need to give it more. I won't rely on, on his damn fire. As soon as everyone else arrives and Midnight soon explains the second event being the cavalry battle. As they, as depending on where they place is depend on how many points they have and first and first place, their point is worth 10 million. As Izuku hears that, he soon feels a complete toe nervous. As Pyra saying, uh oh, then that means, and Jin saying, we're literally the biggest target out of everyone else here now. As everyone has eyes on Izuku, as he begins feeling worried. And even scared quite a bit. As both Pyra and Jin back him up. As he suit, as they both try to give him smiles. As he's saying, yeah, I got this. I'm not, I'm not really alone here. I can even do this by myself if I need be. As soon after, everyone begins going into their teams. As many of them... As Izuku got a couple of offers, as he was hoping for somebody in Class 1A or Class 1B to help out, as some of them, well, even though they know how strong he is, they still are not willing to risk it, after all. But a couple of general studies and support course and even business course students are willing to help, willing to help him out, but he doesn't know, know them too well. As he keeps feeling down, Pyra keeps comforting him, saying, Oh, it's okay, Izuku. Are you just gonna have to. It, me and Jin will just have to help you out. Promise. As Jin saying, I'm not so sure about that, Pyra. I mean, remember, you and I are his quirks, remember? So that means Izuku has to have at least one person on his team. We can't do anything about that. As saying, Oh. You're right. That's that is a downside. As Izuku saying, I'm so screwed. As as Mithra soon comes out saying, Oh come on, think about it. I think there is one person that's willing to help you out. Try and think. As Izuku's thinking, Wait, you don't mean? As right as she's saying, Speak of the devil. As Ochako. Soon comes up and helps out and wanting to help out Izuku just like in canon. 
as Ezekiel is thankful and is glad to have her by his si- glad to have, his, have her by her side and helping him out. As Mithra seeing seeing that the two of them are pretty close and feeling actually a little bit jealous in a way, as Pyrus saying, "Calm down, Mithra. I know how you feel, but remember." This is for Izuku. Remember that. And it's saying, yeah, yeah, you're right. As Jin sees this and saying, Izuku, I think since you have one person on your team, I think we could, I think we can fill the gaps in. Me and Mithra, if you, don't you agree? As Izuku saying, yeah, sure, we could ask, we could ask at least one, one or two more people to help out. So we can lighten the load for you, for the two of you, as as easy as Ochako saying. But they're your sentient quirks. They, we should be able to have them. I can tell that they are like their own person, but still, shouldn't you want to use your quirks at your at their full ability, full best? As Izuku saying, yeah, but. As Izuku looks at Jen, who most likely might be at its limit, helping him out in the process, so he wants to give him at least a break, and wants to rely on at least Pyra and Mithra to help out. As soon after, another girl shows up, being a girl with pink hair and goggles, and saying, "Then you're you're the one with the ten million points, right? Let me help you out." Let me join your team. Come on, please. As Izuki gets freaking out and even Jin saying, wait, I didn't even sense her presence. How the hell did she? As even Mithra feeling, okay, that's insane. How the hell not? Who the hell is this girl? As she, soon after introducing herself as Mei Hatsume of the support course and wanting to join Izuki's team so she can show off her support her support items to the to investors after all as easy thinks okay that would be awesome thank you actually you're the person we just needed one more person on our team as he's saying I just needed you Uraka and Mithra and at least one more person Jen I think you deserved at least some time to rest don't you think as Jin saying, I can still keep on going, Izuku. You do know that. As saying, I know, but you've been helping me out quite a bit. And I'm unable to supply you with quite a bit of ether. And you've been supplying me with way too much ether. So you should, you must be exhausted, right? As, he's, as Jin saying, so you've noticed. <sighs> Guess to be expected. All right then, I'll sit this one out. You four, you four, get everything you got. As Ochaka saying, wait, he isn't gonna stay with you? Is Izuku saying he's a, he's a sentient quirk? As long as he's not too far from me, I can actually, he won't disappear. Actually, so that's all that matters. As it's basically a lie because Jin can go wherever he wants. After all, it's. As Ojaku saying, okay, if that's the case, as she's saying, Hatsume, Mithra, let's do our best for, for Deku, as he's, as Mithra saying, of course, and I hope you two don't hold us back after all, as Izuki saying, Mithra, come on, is saying, <laughs> whatever. As again, she's still feeling quite a bit embarrassed and even more pissed off that it's actually a third that a girl is the is a te- is a team member. As soon after the cavalry battle begins, with Mithra being the front of the of the horse and Ochako Ochako being the back alongside Hatsume and Izuku being on top, with Mithra's sword. At his back with Mithra's sword, as he's ready to give it everything he's got, as Jin is basically in the front of the stands, as some of them wonder, "Hey, isn't that Midoriya's sentient quirk?" 
That's surprise. What's he doing here? Wouldn't Midoriya need him to be on be on his team? As they think, as one of the heroes saying, "Oh yeah, he." I heard that he also has a second sentient quirk. He must be using that one instead, and must have given the second one a break. That makes sense since he can't really use them both. He needed somebody to be on his team. On his team, after all. As Jin thinking to himself, these humans only sees, only see us as quirks, which I am okay with. However, they think they think little of Izuku and think it's only up to us that he's gotten this far, which is somewhat true. But even so, his determination, will, and strength is what keep is what's allow is what allows us to get, give us all we got. We trust in him, and Mithra trusts in him the most. As he looks at his bl- looks at his driver and his other and his other blade and his fellow blade, and think and thinks to himself, "Give him hell, you three, and give it everything you got, no matter what." And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear them. And like and subscribe, which also helps out my channel a lot. At any rate, this is Liam Mookie, signing out. Later.